I can't believe you, Sydney. Sneaking off to the mall when you were supposed to be at the library. You know, the old faith may have been impressed by your cunning deception, but the new faith is on probation, and you could have gotten her into a lot of trouble. Now apologize to new faith. And then show old faith what you got. <laughs> oh, my God! You got your tongue pierced? Your brother's gonna kill me! You're not gonna fail her, are you? Button it, Mumbles. Look, I promised I'd be more responsible, which means I have to tell your mother. I am sorry, Sydney. Oh, good, Hope. I've got to tell you something. No. I need to tell you something. I finally calmed Charlie down, but I can't keep making excuses for you. All right, you're right. From now on, we'll come up with them together. I mean it, Faith. <laughs> Even if you mean well, one more screw-up, and you're out of here. Are we clear? Perfectly. Now, what do you want to tell me? Just that I am so proud of this little girl here. Oh, they like her so much at that library. They let her borrow some of the books. So, Sydney, you feel good about your test? What? Cat got your tongue? Her tongue is fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with her tongue. Get off her back, woman. Fine. I'm going to bed. Good night. Daisy went face. All right. Here's the story. You were kidnapped from the library parking lot by a mysterious man with a pet parrot and a piercing gun. <laughs> what? Too far-fetched? Well, it sounds a little filthy. Oh, that sounds a little silly, does it? That sounds silly? <laughs> All right, fine. I got a better idea. We'll go back to the mall first thing in the morning and get whoever put that thing in to take it out, all right? In the meantime, I want you to say, I thought I saw a pussycat. I thought I saw a pussy cat. <laughs> now say, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Sally sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> I saw a little silly. I need you in the bathroom now. What is so important? It's 3 a.m. What's going on? Promise you won't get mad. I'm already mad. Promise you won't get madder. I'm already madder. Okay, forget it. Go back to bed. Faith! <gasps> oh, my God! You got your tongue pierced! What did I tell you? You said no eyebrow nose or Eliasin. <laughs> what? When did this happen? At the mall. Mom, it really hurts. Stick out your tongue. Faith, I can't believe you took Sydney to the mall to get her tongue pierced. I didn't. I took her to the library. She snuck off to the mall while I was getting a lip wax. <laughs> and let that be a gentle reminder to you. Why didn't you tell me? I just did, Tom Selleck. <laughs> oh, mm. this looks so swollen. It's... It's pinching. I'm gonna go get your dad. No, you can't do that. He'll blame everything on me. Please, can't we just take it out ourselves? All right. Ow, ow, ow! God, I'm gonna hurting me. Well, let's just disinfect it first. Faith, go get the peroxide. <laughs> don't, don't get it on the carpet! It'll bleach it! Okay, everybody in the tub. Oh. It's Charlie. Honey? Hey. 
What are you doing in here? Showering. What else would I be doing in the shower? Why isn't the water on? It is on. <laughs> you know, uh, I could use a shower myself. No, you couldn't. You smell great. Yeah, but I'm feeling very dirty. Yeah. What was that? Excellent. I'll see you in our shower. What's wrong with this one? Uh, this is the kids' bathroom. So we've done it in their rooms. Yeah. La, la. Come on, everyone's asleep. No one will know a thing. Yeah, well, maybe this will get you in the mood. There. Oh, wow. It's out. Oh, thank God. Here, rinse with this. <clears throat> you know, this was so painful and such a huge mistake that I think we can all agree that this was punishment enough and I've learned my lesson. <laughs> nice try. Ground it for two weeks. Now go upstairs. And as for you. I think seeing my sister's husband naked. <laughs> was so painful. And such a big mistake that we can all agree. Shut your mouth. Okay, fine, I'm grounded for two weeks. Hope? Charlie, it's not Faith's fault Sydney snuck off to the mall and got her tongue pierced. No, but it is her fault that she covered for her and didn't tell us. Sydney's tongue could have gotten infected. Faith, Charlie's right. Covering for Sydney doesn't do her any good. She has to start taking responsibility for her actions. You know, Hope, I could say the same thing to you. You cover for Faith all the time. She never takes responsibility for her actions. It's got you there, Hope. <laughs> we had an agreement. Yeah, but I don't think this one counts. Oh, that's right. It never counts with your sister. Yeah, I guess you don't just choose Faith over me. Choose her over your kids, too. Well, of course you choose me. We're sisters. <laughs> I was here before any of them. Faith, you have to go. No, I'm good. I went in the shower. <laughs> no, I mean... You have to move out. Out? Out, out? <laughs> out, out. Okay. Well, fine. You don't have to tell me twice. But just so I'm clear, out, out? <laughs> I'm sorry, Faith. But I have to put my family first. Funny. I thought I was your family. Justin.